place that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And joining me today is the oh so fantastic Eric or Ashton Akai. And we're going to talk about, of course, which one of these two primary fighting types are, of course, really better. For you guys who are, of course, unaware, Machamicon Gelder share so many traits between one another and there really aren't that many things distinguished them. And it's very fun adjusting and comparing these two because they do same things but differently and can deal with different matchups depending on how they're built. And with that in mind, one really has to look at these Pokemon, of course, individually to realize which one actually outmaneuvers the other one. And of course, if in the end here, we hope that you will get an understanding, of course, of which is better between these two. But of course, with all that said, let's of course go into what Eric has to said between these two. So, Conkeldor versus Machamp, um, two bulky fighting types that um, I think on the surface look very, very similar. Um, but when you actually look down at what they do, what their their favorite, their kind of favorite sets to run are, um, are can actually be very, very different. Um, now, I can't speak to older gens how well either of them did. Because I'm, I haven't, I've only been playing competitive Pokemon this gen. Um, so you know the land of fairies and Talonflame, um, which both of those those uh, things giving these two a hard time. Um, but uh, you know, let's uh, let's jump right in. So stats wise, they're they're fairly similar. Um, fairly, you know, high HPs with, with Conkelders at 105. You know, with 140 attack, 95 defense, 65 spdf, and 45 speed. Um, a champ slightly quicker at base 55 speed with slightly higher spdf, but um, only 80 defense, 130 attack, and 90 HP. Either way, um, they are too bulky. You know, slow-ish um, fighting types who hit pr reasonably hard. Now. The big differentiate there the thing between the thing that differentiates these differentiates these two um, is their access to two specific moves. Well, one move that each one of them gets that the other doesn't. But Champ has access to that uh, that no guard dynamic punch combo, which is a huge um, creator of pressure. Um, even when um, your opponent has a switch, and so even if your opponent has a bulky psychic, and you can still it's, it doesn't deter you from just clicking dynamic punch. You know, from my Champ's base one thirty attack, it's still going to do a good chunk of damage. And then there's that confusion side effect, which um, means that uh, your opponent is constantly going to have to be then after that trying to decide if they either want to switch out to get rid of the confusion or if they want to roll the dice. And anytime they hit themselves, that's a free turn for the, the person who has the Machamp. Um, Machamp does get access to Guts. Both of these Pokemon get access to Guts. Um, so that's not really a big differentiator. Um, however, the issue in my mind that Machamp has, because it does have, you know, the offensive coverage it needs. It has Bullet Punch, Poison Jab, Knock Off, you know, um, and then that, that strong Dynamic Punch, as well as access to uh, close combat um, and some other strong fighting stabs. The issue with in, with Machamp, in my mind, uh, the is the move which Conkeldor has, which Machamp doesn't, and that is Drain Punch. So um, Machamp doesn't have the recovery that Conkeldor gets through Drain Punch, and I think that hinders it running it's the defensive options. So, like, it's why a lot of the the time you see, you know, Scarf Machamp or Banded Machamp, it's definitely a Pokemon that um, people I think prefer to run offensively to create to use it to create offensive pressure. Like offense is its um is its it, it's those are those tend to be its favorite sets mainly because it doesn't have that recovery, so it can't you know um you can't you don't see set like bulk up Machamp even though it does get access to it um, like you do sometimes with Conkildur. Now, um, Conkeldur's big different, the big advantage that Conkeldur has here um, is Drain Punch, and I think Drain Punch alone gives it a lot of flexibility that Machamp doesn't have, and that is why um, I, I personally um, always lean toward Conkeldur where I can. Um, so yeah, there you guys have it. So of course, all that said, I'm gonna of course give my own few thoughts. Now, as Eric says here, they do share a lot of traits, actually a bit too much in my honest regard. It feels like Conkeldur basically was created in Gen 5, to outmaneuver or even outbuff Machamp to some extent. But being slower has its disadvantages. For example, Machamp is the only one between these two that can outspeed defensive 85 base mon. Actually, Machamp is able to outspeed a defensive Cresselia, which is actually to his advantage. Granted, most of the common sets with Machamp is, of course, the bandit set. One could use a Salt Vest. They usually they're both have a Salt Vest and they do that really well. But as Eric says here, clearly the other one has recovery to some extent as the other do not. And of course, the length of their priorities separates them quite a bit too. Machamp have the ability, of course, of going for Bullet Punch. While a good priority, Conkeldur with its extra power and it gets a stab boost that of course, Mac Punch is to some extent slightly better. 
So all in all, it all boils down to whether or not which one hits harder. And there is where things get a bit more interesting, because Mershon, as stated, has dynamic punch as the main move, while Conkeldor has its best move being, of course, Super Power or Drain Punch. Super Power just makes it more fragile, and since it's natural bulk and usually suited with Assault Fist, it just worked to this disadvantage, which is the reason Drain Punch is the number one item for it to use. Having that said, we have to look, of course, into to their abilities and realize that no guard can make, of course, Machamp, the more ferocious Pokemon stand alone with, of course, of Stone Edge and Dynamic Punch always hitting, but Sheer Force Boost with Life Orb getting those extra 60% boost to your damage just hurt that much more, making Conkeldor definitely more superior when it comes to damage output. And when it comes down to which one of these survives the longest, due to Drain Punch, Conkeldor stands out slightly taller due to having the excess recovery. So with that in mind, one really has to of course look into what do these guys actually maneuver around with. And it all boils down to which guys can these, of course, outspeed. And uh, the one, number one actually comes to mind, of course, Sylveon, being of course the statue of Yu Yu at this moment, even going into, of course, Generation 7, I do believe these gonna, these gonna have a similar situation. But Sylveon does have speed, both of them, but trust me, Machamp is the only one of these two that are able to have speed it and actually probably knock it out. So... That's definitely something to keep in mind, that Machamp is able to speed creep the things that Conkeldor cannot. Having that said, if you compare them, of course, against one another, one really starts to realize that while Machamp is able to do the massive damage quick and have the pressure keep going, Conkeldor do slightly more damage and are in for the long game. Conkeldor is the bulkier between the two in the long run due to the access recovery and one really has to take in mind if that is enough to make it better than Machamp. And of course, we're going to go over to Eric for the last thoughts here. So, Drain Punch gives Conkeldor uh, a form of recovery that allows it to pretty comfortably run Assault Vest, which patches up that low, that low special defense. You can also run, you know, you also, like I said, have a high attack stat that doesn't really need to be well invested. So, you know, you have the option with Guts to run defensive sets, the, an option that Machamp doesn't really get due to that lack of good recovery. In addition, on top of Guts, Machan um, Conkeldor also gets access to two moves um, which boost its damage output in Sheer Force and Iron Fist, depending upon what you want to do. So Sheer Force is great for the coverage, you know, punches that Conkeldor gets. Poison Jab, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch. Um, obviously removing their secondary effects uh, in exchange for a boost in damage on an already high 140 attack. You also have access to Drain Punch, or Iron Fist, which is going to boost things like Drain Punch and Mock Punch. You, the other thing which Conkeldor gets, which Machamp does not stab priority, which is huge, I think, um, in a lot of ways, because Bullet Punch, just it doesn't have, although it's good for hitting fairies, um, it doesn't have a lot of power behind it, so generally you need to weaken those fairies a lot to um, actually be picking up the KOs with it. So, um, you know, I think the big difference between these two, um, because I'm kind of quick running out of time here, is uh, is flexibility, um, really. Uh, they both run off, do offensive sets very, very well, you know, bulky offensive sets, but Conkeldor, due to the access to Drain Punch, has a lot of options that um, Machamp does not, um, as far as defensive option sets, set up sorts of sets with bulk up, um, and I think that ability to not be locked into kind of one role um, is the big thing uh, that makes Conkeldor uh, the best. Pokemon. Now. And there you guys have it. Conkeldor basically becomes a better Pokemon because it's harder to kill. Being a solo fighting type has its disadvantages, but being a bulky one is actually the, usually the best way of going about it. And with that in mind, it's actually better to hit slightly harder. And that is exactly what Conkeldor does. So Conkeldor still stands out to being, well, in lack of better words, actually an upgrade of Machamp. But having that said, Machamp is still not far off. But there definitely are things that are separated them apart, and stamina is where it stands out the most. So this was actually a kind of a tough call between these two, and the debate pretty much came down to, down to this. Machamp has a speed advantage, it has a dynamic punch. There is where it all ends, and it actually felt like that was good enough between these two. But then you realize, as we said it before, that Conkeldor is here for the long game. And if you are a bulkier fighting type, being the bulkiest might actually be the premise to go with, and the extra speed may or may not actually matter depending on your team matchup. And uh, Conkeller just simply coming on top due to being able to have some kind of recovery and actually be able to hit slightly harder with the right sets. So Machamp not too far off, but definitely not on par with, of course, this beast of a Pokemon that is Conkeller. So, of course, with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and make sure to check out, of course, Eric's channel, which is going to be linked down below. 
If you want to know more about, of course, Wi-Fi battles, League battles, and of course, VGC, he's definitely going to post the majority of the VGC content now that Generation 7 hits up. So make sure to subscribe to him and help him out. Having that said, what do you guys think about Machamp versus Gungeller? Do you guys have any other different opinion? If so, make sure to write it down below. And I thank you as always, of course, for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.